Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Enermax Platimax 1000 watt power supply and uh, as you can see on the cover has uh, it's rated 80 plus platinum which is one of the highest rating I've ever seen in a power supply and comes with a five year warranty of course that means it is a very high end power supply and uh, this is what Enermax calls the super overclock edition with the uh, components designed so that you can run your system at its maximum performance and let's just flip it to the back you can see uh, some more detail and promotional information including uh, cables and connectors that are involved in it and as mentioned it's 89 plus rated that means it is uh, its efficiency rating is from 89 per, uh, 89 uh, percent all the way to the 90s and of course as you can see there is a graph here at the bottom uh, this is of course your typical load from 20 50 and 100 percent it doesn't get lower than 91 percent in this graph and uh, here are some more technologies that are implemented by Enermax you have the uh, twister bearing fan inside which is of course it uh, because it uses a uh, use a minimal contact air for effective noise reduction it is supposedly a lot quieter than your regular fan design and found in other uh, power supplies and a list of features in there you have the 89 plus ready as I also already mentioned ERP lot 6 ready we have advanced plus 5 volt SV circuitry with up to 20% improved efficiency and uh, also it is also 100 to 2040 VAC uh, automatic adjustment with active PFC for global usage so you don't need to use a transformer wherever you are and uh, for 24/7 at 50 degrees Celsius, that uh, that efficiency, the 89 plus efficiency, is rated at that level. So that is very very hardcore for a power supply. And uh, a couple of other features in there. You have the heat guard, uh, cord guard, safe guard, and uh, of course I already mentioned the twister fan inside. And the it also has 100% 105 degrees Celsius Japanese electrolytic capacitors for a high component standard for maximum durability and stability. And uh, even better than just reading it, let's start opening the Enermax Platimax power supply. And as you can see in the box, it's not your typical power supply box. It actually resembles a motherboard uh, or a video card box. But uh, see, it's quite heavy. You, when you don't see it in the video, but what you do, you can just uh, flip it open. And here you can find the Platimax logo and in different compartments here. Let's uh, take it out one by one and see, of course, here in the center. You have the unit itself and let's go back to that later and then, uh, let's uh, check out each compartment up oh, this is actually a uh, appears that it is a it's not fully modular unlike the I think the 1200 watt model is fully modular for the Platinumax but this is this one has a just the uh, 24 pin and 8 pin uh, and in the PCIe connector, one PCIe connector is hardwired into the unit. Let's go back to that. Let's put that aside for a bit. And the rest of the box. Here you have the Platinumax manual. It comes in multiple languages. It, uh, it's one page for each, uh, several page for each language. And in this compartment, it's labeled the AC cord. It's quite thick. And inside, and in this compartment, you have the modular cables. And it comes with a carrying bag, so you can put them away if you don't need them. And uh, let's uh, see if this bag is sealed. And it's actually a tape on it. Just uh, let me grab my scissors here. After rather my blade, and let's cut it open. Of course, you gotta be careful not to cut any wires accidentally. There we go. Here you have a uh, SATA cable, four pin Molex. Uh, this is another SATA cable, and actually this is a mixture of SATA and 4-pin Molex, PCIe, and uh, this is another PCIe connector, and another two pair, a pair of SATA cables. 
And here at the bottom you have, this is what they call the cord guard. And what it actually does is it uh, prevents the um, AC power cord from being yanked accidentally. We'll show that later as we look at the uh, unit itself. And here is an NMAX sticker with four power supply mounting screws. Looks like there are also these cable management ties. There's a pair of them uh, right inside. And here is the Enermax Platymax completely out of the packaging. And first thing we notice, of course, is the large fan in the middle. Now this fan actually, not only does it uh, run quietly, it also keeps on running even if you sh after you shut down your system to completely dissipate the heat that is remaining in there. It runs for 30 to 60 seconds to ensure that the there is not any leftover heat there and that could, uh, over over in time, you could it could damage your component. And see, very attractive. It looks very similar to the Max Revo unit except it doesn't have the uh, gold cover in here. It's supposed to be a platinum design and the Body itself it looks texture, but it is not actually not as rough to the feel. So uh, dust shouldn't uh, shouldn't really be a problem when sticking to this. Uh, initially, from looking at the pictures, I thought that it would be it would be really textured, and uh, and my concern was that dust could uh, gather in there. But it actually feels smoother than uh, I thought it would be. Also, and here at the back, you can see through the uh, quality components through this this honeycomb mesh, but also the uh, Hot air can also exit through here. And here is the power cord uh, connector and the power switch. And uh, also mentioned the the uh, cord guard. Let's see what uh, how to how the cord guard works. And here's what it looks like with the cord guard installed. And as you can see, you can't pull it out accidentally. Or uh, even if you try hard, you have to uh, flip it down to be able to pull out the cord. Here on the other side, we can find a table with the AC input and DC output. And as you can see, it has a single 83 amp 12 volt rail, pulling 996 watts, and has 100 watts for the 3.3 volts and the plus 5 uh, volts. And you also have, you can see there that it is rated up to 1000, but the peak power is actually 1100 watts. So that is massive. And of course, you have the uh, ser several power protection. You have the uh, over power protection, you have the over temperature protection, you have uh, short circuit protection and a whole suite of other uh, industrial rated protection. Um, and you have also that uh, the mean time before failure is 100,000 hours. That's why they're confident in providing five year warranty because uh, 100, that is 100,000 hours at 70% at full rated load at uh, 25 degrees Celsius performance. So it should last you a long, long time. And here, and uh, see on the side that there, so much you have the uh, same similar style as the other Enermax power supplies. You have these arrows on the side, and here at the top you have the Platinum Max logo. And similarly on the other side, you can see the Platinum Max logo and the arrows here on the top, which are uh, a little bit uh, depressed here. Here we are looking at the power connectors. You can see the native cables in there and they are labeled. You have the 24 pin uh, mainboard connector, 8 pin CPU, and a 4 pin, 4 plus 4 pin CPU power connector. And of course the 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connector, which are in red. And of course this is a high-end power supply. It has a pair of them so you could run a uh, GTX 580. And let's see what, uh, how many, you have dual 8 pin of course. For uh, enthusiast mainboards. And here the uh, connectors are you have a pin out diagram there at the bottom. You can show uh, you're using eight pins there. They're, uh, they don't just use four pins. They, as you can see, the pin out says ground for the top six ones and 12 volt for the bottom here using the uh, red colored 12 volt connectors. And as you can see here on the modular cable connectors, they actually have these locks on the side. So you can't, uh, similar to the um, cord guard, you can't accidentally pull it out and they only go in one way. See that? 
there. And once it's in, in place, you have to, to to take it out. You have to pull it uh, from the side, so you can't uh, you can't just pull it out straight up from the side like that, so, uh, from the front like that. So you have to hold it in like that. Uh, hold, push it. Uh, put pressure on both sides, and then you can pull it out. And similarly, on the um, hard drive and optical peripheral cables, you can see the pin out there. You have the 3.3 volt, 5 volt, and two grounds for the uh, for the third and fourth uh, pins in there, and the 12 volt at the bottom. So, this, uh, let's see what this cable is. The, it doesn't, it's not a completely black cable, but it has this pattern. As you can see there the red, yellow, and black. Almost looks like a snake. That looks quite cool. And uh, it also only goes one way. Uh, the so you can't accidentally you can't accidentally install it the other way uh, because the squares are the for the second and third pins are squares. So if you uh, it won't fit. Uh, on the opposite way, similarly to the uh, red PCIe power connectors. Now let us actually install this on our system. We'll put it in an X79 uh, on our X79 test system on the new LG2011 uh, Intel 3960X Extreme Edition processor. We'll clock it and put in uh, multiple cards and see how well the Enermax Platinum Max 1000 watt power supply performs.